Good morning, Year One, and welcome to the third day of our maths lessons. Today, we're going to be working on odd and even numbers. Now, there's a good chance you can remember from what we did earlier in the year what odd and even numbers are, but it was a long time ago, so we're going to be looking at that and looking at how we can identify that using arrays, ten arrays. But before we do that, we're going to be making use of others, some other arrays. So you can use cubes and counters or anything else that you can make an array with in order to solve the following set of problems. So grown-ups, as usual, pause the video until you're ready to go for it. OK, welcome back, year one. I wonder how you managed. So I've got five groups of three to start off with. So that's one group of three, two groups of three, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Three groups of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two. Sorry, too many plus twos. So two, four, six, eight, ten. And that might be something we use later. Three groups of something makes twelve. So we're aiming at reaching 12 and we'll put them in three groups. One, two, three, that's one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's three groups, we've reached 12. How many is in each group? That's right, four. Two groups of three. One group of three, four, five, six, two groups of three. Three groups of two. One, two, three, four, five, six. 3 plus 3 plus 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So you see how we're starting to look at counting on in these numbers as well, on the number squares. And four groups of something makes 20. So we need to make four groups, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So how many groups, in the, how many in each group? That's right, there are five. Three groups of four. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many groups of two make twelve? So let's do the groups of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that would be six groups of two. Oh, quite an involved one this time. Groups of five. You might be able to remember what that is from yesterday. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. See how a multiplication links to repeated addition. Six roots of something makes eighteen. So six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there are three in each group. And four groups of something makes eight. So let's do four groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2. A number of groups of three makes 18. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3, that's one group. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18. So there are six groups. And six groups of something make 24. So opposite way around. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So how many? Six groups of 4. And then 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. Well, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use 10 bars. 10 bar, 10 bar, 10 bar. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Because you really don't want to do dots of 20 dots, do you? So, well done. OK. We're going to investigate odd and even, and we're going to look at the patterns, and then we're going to put them into a sorting diagram. So at this point, if you want to, you could tell your grown-up how we could tell which number is odd and which number is even on this number square. If you can just identify the odd or the even numbers, that's fine. But we're going to be looking at the reason why today, going back to the patterns that we practiced in the first term.
Okay, so I'm not actually going to explain at this point. I want to show you. What we're looking at to start off with is just the first 10 array. So we're looking at this section only. And what we're looking at is whether it is full, each line, or whether it's half full. If it's half full, it looks a bit odd, doesn't it? And that means that it's an odd number. So one is an odd number. Now we're going to be identifying the even numbers on the number square and we're going to have a look at see if there's a pattern that goes with that as well. So now we're going to do two. Now, is that section full or not? Is this section here full across here? Just here and here? Yes, it is, isn't it? So what we can do is we can move a counter onto the 100 square to show that it's even. Right, so number three. Let's move that there. Is this row here, is this row here, this section here full or half full? It's half full, isn't it? So is three an even or no, it's an odd? Because the pattern is looking odd. And all the way four, well, that's even. So, what you're going to do is you're going to investigate that to there. What I'm also going to show you is what happens when you reach 10. So, pause the video a sec. When you're ready, have a go at doing numbers up to 10. So, fill the whole of this grid, grown ups, and mark the numbers. And then, when you're ready, I'm going to show you what happens when you've reached 10 and you want to do the next number. Okay, so I've reached 10. And can you see I've identified that as an even number? Well, what am I going to do with 11 now? Where do I put the next cube? Next counter. Can you point where you think it should go on the screen? That's right, it goes here. So now that's even. Is this now, the whole of this area, is that odd or even? That's right, that's odd. So 11 is odd. 12, I would put the coin to here. So we've got 10, so that's your 1, 10, and 2 units is 12. So is that odd or even? Is the top row full? Is this row full? This is isn't it. So what's that make it? Even. Brilliant. Okay, so keep going all the way up to 20 and then start the video again and I'm going to show you how you can spot, see if you can spot the pattern and predict what other numbers are even using a number square. Okay, so when you're ready, grown-ups, put the video on. Okay, so you will have ended up with a number square looking like this. Now, what are we noticing about all the even numbers? Well, this ends, ends in a 2, ends in a 2, this one ends in a 4, this one ends in a 4, this one ends in a 6. So what are you noticing about the units in every number? That's right, we call those even numbers. Any number that ends in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0 is an even number. So can you predict what the next even number is going to be? Tell your grown-ups and see if you're right. There it is, 22. I bet you got that. Now, very quickly, we're going to have a go at working out where some of the numbers go. I want you to point on the grid, and it's the same sort of grid as we used yesterday. So this box is odd and less than 20. This box is not odd and less than 20. So odd, less than 20 not odd less than 20, odd not less than 20, and not odd and not less than 20. I want you to tell me the first number that will go into the less than 20 and odd. Tell your grown-ups. Grown-ups, start the video again when you're ready to check. That's right, year one. One is the first odd number that is less than 20. So, 
what is the first number that is not odd, which means even, and less than 20? Tell you growing up. That's right, it's this number here, the 2. Right, now, what is the first number that is not less than 20 and is odd? Are you growing up? So 20 is here. It's got to be not less than 20. So 19 is less than 20. So it's going to be, that's right, 21. Now this last one is a bit of a trick. Not less than 20. Have to think about what that actually means. Well, well done those people. If you put 22, it's not a bad idea and it would go in this box. But the first number that is not less than 20 is 20 itself. So that goes there. So have a go at filling in this grid. You can extend it, grown-ups. You should be able to keep the patterns going. And maybe put four or five numbers in each box. And that's the end of today's maths lesson.